And now let's turn our attention to Egypt. The land of pharaohs is running out of gold and it's selling citizenship to fill its drying coffers. What does that mean? Egypt is reeling from an economic crisis. The Egyptian pound's value has fallen by half over the last year. It's in desperate need of dollars. So it has made it easier for rich foreigners to buy Egyptian citizenship. You can get it in exchange for property or investments in Egypt. But how do you become an Egyptian citizen? All you need is a quarter of a million dollars. That's the minimum. If you have significantly more to spare, you can buy a mansion with a pyramid view. The citizenship will be a bonus, but not everyone is cheering for the scheme. Critics call it short-sighted. They say it won't alleviate Egypt's economic woes. Also, this isn't the first country to sell golden citizenship. Do these programs even work? Which other countries offer them? Our next report has the answers. If you ever wanted to become a citizen of Egypt, now's your chance. So what do you have to do to get a new shiny green passport? Be ready to invest a certain amount of dollars into the economy. This is part of Egypt's golden citizenship scheme, which has been around for years. But now it's cheaper than ever. There are four ways to buy yourself an Egyptian citizenship. Number one, buying real estate. If you invest $300,000 in property, you can become a citizen. The caveat here is that the property needs to be bought from the state or a public company. Number two, a $350,000 investment in projects will get you a citizenship as well. Number three, deposit half a million dollars in a local bank and citizenship will be yours. You'll get your money back after three years, but without any interest. And the repayment will be in Egyptian pounds. And finally, a non-refundable payment of a quarter million dollars into Egypt's public treasury. This will also ensure you become a citizen of the Arab world's most populous nation. So does this sound like an exciting sales pitch? Well, Egypt is hoping it does. But why? Because the country's economy is crumbling. A combination of economic mismanagement and external factors have left it reeling. Inflation hit 26.5% this January. Food prices rose by about 48% during that month, an all-time record. Prices went up recently, especially since the Ukrainian war. There is a shortage in grains. Many wholesalers who used to deliver the goods to us started closing, and the increase in prices affected us. So we now buy half a kilo instead of one. Egypt, like many other nations, is also battling a cost of living crisis brought on by the Ukraine war. The Egyptian pound's value depreciated and the cost of food and fuel imports surged. The government's attempts to control imports led to sky-high prices. It's the same old story. Before the war, Ukraine and Russia also contributed significantly to tourism in Egypt. That stopped now too. And so has the influx of valuable foreign currency. Egypt needs your dollars desperately. The Egyptian pound is falling. It's worth half as much as it was a year ago. Egypt's forex reserves are down by about 20%. So it decided to push its citizenship for USD scheme. And Egypt is not the only country to do so. There are about 13 countries that offer golden citizenships around the world. In nearby Jordan, it costs around $750,000. Turkey sells it for about 400,000 USD. Quite a few Caribbean islands sell citizenships to the great joy of economic offenders from India. In Europe, Austria has citizenships for sale. But being a European nation, it charges a hefty sum of about $3.2 million. So do these golden passport schemes work? It's hard to say because the number of applicants are usually kept secret. Many European nations have shut down such programs recently in the wake of the Ukraine war. They believed ultra-wealthy Russians were using these programs to escape sanctions. Of those who still offer it, Malta, Austria and Turkey have slashed rates in recent years. It's an indication that not enough people are interested or that the scheme hasn't brought in enough money. But Egypt is hoping that its golden passport scheme is the golden goose that saves its economy.